big thing about defenders, guys, if you look at probably the best defender in the world, Virgil van Dijk, one, he's obviously a physical monster. He's very tall, he's very aggressive. But for me, the biggest thing about him is he can move his feet as good as any attacking player. So you see when he's defending, he's not slow. He's always moving his feet. So for me, footwork unlocks good defending. So if you can't move your feet as a defender, it's going to be very hard for you to become a good defender. So for me, that's why we always do uh, footwork in our sessions. We have six yellow cones there and what we're going to work on is just the fundamentals of body shape, attitude is a big one towards defending and the intensity towards defending. So today's all about defending in the program, okay? First things first, that little drill you did with Shane there, you should be mastering getting the right distance. So this is where it's going to come out. DV, you're going to dribble at 50% in a little zigzag, okay? And all I've got to do is try and show you one way and work on that distance. So as soon as you get there, I'm now going to turn. I'm working my feet, I'm nice and low. As soon as I'm just checking my shoulder as well. Once I get to this last cone, Daniel, I take the ball and now you work that way back, okay? So I'm working just at 50%. I can throw in different skills here. Bang, now you've got to be able to turn your hips. All I'm going to be looking at, Kate and Daniel, is how well, which is the most important thing for me when it comes to defending, how well you're perfecting the right distance. So sometimes you can be too close and a player like Messi will just skip past you and he's gone. And then the, the common one is sometimes you're too far away and you're just enticing the attacker to come onto you. You've got to be in a position where you make them feel uncomfortable and that's what we're going to work on here, okay? Play, I'm out, I'm out. Turn the hips, go, play. Good. Drop a bit deeper, you're too close, Daniel. You've got to work on that distance. Good, good. Work your feet quicker, Daniel. It's all footwork. You're too close, you're too close. You've got to drop deeper, good. I'm out, I'm out. Let's go, Kate. Next one, play. I'm looking at your body language, Kate, and your intensity towards defending. Good, good. Loads of good. touches, loads of Bang. touches. Bang, good, Daniel. Loads of touches, good, good. good. If he's moving quick, we've got to perfect the distance, Kate. Good, switch your feet. Bang, switch Bang. Feet, Kate. play, same again, let's go. Bigger distance, Daniel, don't be too close. Good, play, good. Don't loads be too of touches close. Where dribble, good Kate. Loads of touches. Good, loads of touches on the dribble, Kate. Good, good. Kate, make him guess, make him guess. I'm out, I'm out, turn and play, turn and play. Good, we go there and back. You can increase your speed a little bit there, Duffs. Good, Dan, you gotta work your feet, Kate, you gotta work your feet. Good, bang, 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 you gotta work your feet, come on, play. Play, 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 play. Good. Right, well done, good, Daniel. Good. And rest. You've gotta look like you wanna go ready, go into the tackle. So if you're really slow with your feet here like this, that's what I mean by your body language and intensity towards defending. So what I want you to do in is moving your feet more, guys. Bang, that intensity and the way you move your feet is so important. Because right now I'm asking you to dribble at 50%. It's not gonna be like that in a game, is it? In a game, it's going to be bang, tricks, bum, skills, speed. We're going to be ready for that. So if you're flat and the intensity and your body language is poor, you're not going to be able to match the attacker. Perfect that distance, keep the good, arm out. Feet, good, Daniel. Feet, good, switch your feet, Kate. Stop and go. Good, good. Daniel. Better, guys. The intensity is better, mate. Good. 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 Switch your feet. Switch your feet. Okay, again, then and back. Let's go. Don't get in line with the ball, okay? Yeah. So you want to try and push it to the line. If you get in line, you're giving them the two sides. Great. Right. Bang. Now that was good. Great, let's go. Bang. Forward, Daniel. Turn your hips. Good. Good. Give it one side, Danny. Push it one side. Push it one side. Good. Don't be so close. If she comes close to you, you draw. We're obviously not tackling, we're just perfecting the distance. Play. Bang, 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 bang. Good. good. Play. Yes, come on, Kate. Come on, Kate. Come on, Kate. Good. Shoot. Shoot. Push, 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 push. Don't get square. Don't get caught in the middle. Good. Guys, what I'm working on here. What I'm working on here, guys, is this is such a great drill. For one thing, which I feel like a lot of young players struggle with, is getting the right distance when you're defending. So at the minute, they're, they're too close, like you've got to drop a bit and just get that distance, one metre, it's so, so important. You see with young players when they close the ball down, they don't put the brakes on and get the right distance and then they just end up getting beat. So this is a great little drill. What I'm going to do is just change it a little bit and ask them to dribble quicker because then the defender's going to have to work a little bit harder. Good, switch your feet, switch your feet, Kate. Good, you're facing the wrong way, Kate, force them where you want to go. Good, yes, Daniel. Play good, like good. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah. Go, switch your feet, Kate. Yeah. Play good. Body language, shoot, bang, shoot, bang. Play good. Turn your hips, turn your hips, snap yes. your hips. Yes. Good. Closer, Daniel. Probably too far away there. Good play. Last one, guys. Last one, you get a drink after this. Let's go. Come on, Kate. It's all footwork. Slow feet, don't eat. Turn them hips, bang. Good. If he goes quicker, you've got to match it. Good, Dan. Work your feet. Good. Good, Daniel. Like it. The only thing I want to talk on, which I was big this morning, Shane, was 
Uh, where's the sunshine? I was just, I'm just looking at uh, obviously the fundamentals, but I'm looking at your attitude and your body language towards it. So the, there was a couple of players that I had this morning, right? They're defending like this. Like the body language, there's no real intent there for him to want to get better at defending. Okay? Now, I reckon this is, this is very true. So I would say 90% of kids, Shane, they hate defending. They don't want to defend. All kids these days, and it's just the way football's gone, they want to be a number nine, number 10, scoring goals, getting assists. Am I right or am I wrong? And that's because of the, the influence that social media's had. Not many kids want to be like, right, I want to be a defender, and that's it. I love tackling, I love heading, I love clearing it, I love winning my 1v1 duels. Like, not many kids will, will get buzzing about that, but it's such a big part of the game. So in my session with some young kids this morning, just they, they just don't look like they want to do the session. Because when I, we say to kids, Shane, right, today's on defending, straight away kids are like, oh, that's me gone. They've zoned out straight away. And it's such a big part of the game.